Rappers that are close to the YSL Rico case are now revealing information on Young Thug's release date. It would first be announced in a recent motion, YFN Lucci's lawyer says that the Young Thug and YSL Rico trial will certainly result in a mistrial and it is a complete waste of time, as Lucci's lawyer is none other than Drew Fingling, aka the billion dollar lawyer. It has been noted that Drew is the Saul Goodman of the rap industry. He has represented King Von, DaBaby, A Boogie, and even Cardi B, while also mentioning he has never lost a case for a single rapper, which is very impressive if you know anything about King Von's previous court cases. Now, Drew mentioned the YSL Rico trial case because of what Young Thug's lawyer just did inside of the courtroom. He just put his entire career on the line for Thug. As it would be announced, Young Thug's lawyer is fed up and calls the judge in the case biased against either him or his client. I want to move the case, but when the court, it, it gives me no pleasure in saying this. I believe that this honorable court is biased against Mr. Williams and or his counsel. And I ask you to consider recusing yourself or don't do this again to me. This is inappropriate to me. I respect you, but what am I supposed to do? Sit there while you do this? I didn't do anything wrong. I did exactly what you teach me to do and the okay. courts teach me to do. Right. But instead, no, no, I got to finish this. Then I get told to to this court, this court says by prosecutor love that I'm not being candid with the court and I'm misrepresenting because Mr. Bean never went to the hospital at Grady on September 11, 2013 and Miss Love has a document on the desk to prove it. Now, Young Thug's lawyer is yelling at the judge. He is putting his entire career on the line for his client, Young Thug, and even the judge is asking him, are you sure you want to be doing this? This is then when Brian Steele would make Young Thug cry inside of the courtroom where he would literally say he would put his life on the line for his client i mean i'm not saying anything but if true that's a pretty that's a pretty serious accusation if true if true i'll right now how about that judge glanville your honor i object to this i don't care about her objection i'm and, speaking with the honor, court I object. i'm I like speaking the with the court Okay, I'm right. speaking. Let him finish, court. and then you can, uh, then you can state your. My point is, Brian Steele is extremely angry for two reasons, and it's because the prosecutors are trying to use evidence against Young Thug that they are not allowed to use. The prosecutors want to try to use evidence against Thug that relates to a tour bus incident with Lil Wayne. A report goes and shares Lil Wayne might be called to testify in Young Thug's ongoing RICO trial about his 2015 tour bus incident. Themselves and since. There's no confrontation as to it. It's not testimonial, Judge. It, there's not a confrontation issue when it's not testimonial. And I know that the court is aware that the rules of evidence are, are inclusive rules. And I wanted to be- I, able I to know what the purpose of the, of the federal rules of evidence, right. I mean, or the state rules of evidence are, which we patterned. Right. So please don't, please don't, please don't be condescending to me, Ms. Love. No. I know, I mean, I rule upon the rules of evidence every single day. I get some right, some wrong, and that's why, and that's, and that's the purpose, but, I understand the object of the rules of evidence is to allow for most evidence to be admitted. However, it's got to be relevant and it's got to be for a particular purpose. Now, I'm telling you, if you get Mr. Carter in here, then that is, you'll solve you'll solve a number of your problems. As the judge is telling the prosecutors that they need Lil Wayne to testify and confirm that the evidence is true. Obviously, Lil Wayne will not be doing that, meaning that there is even less evidence the prosecutors have now against Thug. The prosecutors are trying to claim that Young Thug created a hit on Lil Wayne's tour bus in 2015. The prosecutors would even try bringing the bus driver onto the stand to persuade the judge. A report shares a tour bus operator for rapper Lil Wayne started to get emotional while recalling the moments at the bus in 2015. The operator said that he retired following the incident and is now suing rapper Young Thug in the Rico case. Tell the jurors what happened um, once you got on 285. Once I got on 285, um, within minutes, that's when the uh, that's that's when the car came along and started that at the bus. Are you able to discern where the shots are coming from? Is it come from the front of the bus, the back of the bus, or somewhere else? They started at the back of the bus. They shot my engine, shot my radiator, and just started shooting all, shooting all down the side of the bus. And at the time, um, you said you, did you have those passengers, were those passengers that came out of the club, were they still on your bus as this bus was being picked up? 
Yeah, they were back there screaming on the floor. You said they were what? Back there scream screaming on the floor. Making the question of the hour being, will Lil Wayne testify against Young Thug? If Lil Wayne does not testify, online lawyers have already predicted Young Thug's release date. As to understand when, you first need to see the prosecutors have a meltdown in court. As it would be announced, an ex-investigator with the Atlanta Police Department took a stand under cross-examination on Monday. During one moment, former investigator Lakia got into a brief exchange with Young Thug's defense attorney, Max. And D'Angelo White's response was, we had, correct? Yes, he did say that, and it was more to that as well. We had guns and sh Yes, he said it. Okay. We, being plural, correct? Correct? Are you insulting my intelligence by asking if we means plural? I think you are, though. Okay. I think you are. All right, well, sir, don't put, don't, don't do that. Don't do that. All right, sir, let's be respectful to our witness, okay? I'm very respectful, Judge, and I always will. I doubt it. Which shortly after had Young Thug and his main lawyer accidentally dropping the hardest photo of 2024, according to Twitter. As once again, the prosecutors are trying to use evidence against Young Thug that they are not allowed to use, which is making Brian Steele so angry. As Thug's legal team is arguing that the Atlanta Police Department are lying about evidence. Thug's main lawyer has called out the Atlanta Police Department for lying multiple times. Our report goes and reads, Your Honor, as my eyes roll, I'm about to show you why I don't believe the city of Atlanta Police Department at all. I have no recording of whom. Who, 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 of Detective who? Lewis at the hospital, Grady Hospital, September 11, 2013, meets with Walter Murphy. And your honor, as my eyes roll out of my head, I'm about to show you why I do not believe the city of Atlanta Police Department at all. This is served in discovery. I will mark it Mr. Williams C and D. And then you tell me if I'm supposed to believe the allegations from the state of Georgia. As this is exactly where everything gets so heated inside of the courtroom and allow me to explain. The judge would call out Young Thug's attorney for stating that the Atlanta Police Department lies about evidence because this is an extremely bold claim to make as Young Thug's lawyer is putting his entire career on the line right here. Well, I can see that. Well, I, I, I'm gonna tell you that I haven't heard anything that would indicate that that that's truth. Yeah, well, yeah. yeah that you have a you have a good faith basis to ask that. You haven't heard anything of who he spoke with. That's my point. That's the point. He's but the, but, but you all can't. But you two, neither one of you can proffer that. Judge, it's pro it's not proper, Mr. Steele. No, no, no. Listen, it's not. It, it it would be a violation before me for you to for you to put that in front of this jury in the. September 17, 2000. You are saying to the court that you have a belief that there is another statement out there. There's not. Why would you, how would you say that? Because there, it hasn't been brought up. If, if, it, if it gets brought up, then we'll correct it at that point in time. But right now, I'm going to direct you not to not to inquire that line. You don't have a basis to do so. Brian Steele is saying this because the Atlanta Police Department have literally no evidence against Young Thug, and they are trying to push this evidence through that they are not allowed to even use. The evidence that they are discussing is based around a man named Adrian Bean. The Atlanta Police are trying to use evidence against Thug that Adrian told them in 2013. However, Adrian now in 2024 at the RICO trial said on the stand that he doesn't remember giving them the evidence over a decade ago. The original report goes and reads, keep in mind, unlike Trontavia Stevens, Adrian Bean is not bound by a plea deal. He was a part of a 2013 crime where four people were involved, but one escaped and was never caught. They need Bean to snitch on Young Thug on the stand like he did in 2013, but now he refuses. As Adrian Bean originally snitched on Young Thug in 2013, as Young Thug was the one that escaped during the crime and was obviously never caught. So they now need Adrian to confirm to law enforcement as well as the judge that young thug was the one that escaped and wasn't caught after you answer the question which you have to do because i don't remember none of, nothing that happened in 2013 that's what i'm trying to explain to you i understand what i have to do is mm -hmm. ask you some questions and determine what you do and don't remember so what is your response as to whether or not 
you recognize the images shown in Defendant's Exhibit Number Eight? I don't remember. All right. And I'm going to show you Defendant's Exhibit Number Eighty-One. Do you recognize what's shown there? No, ma'am. All right. What about Number One Hundred One for Defendant Exhibits? You see a car, but I don't remember. Okay, that's fine. Is your answer the same for Defendant's Exhibit Number Eighty-Two? number 89 and the fitness exhibit 90. Yes, ma'am. Now, since the police took a decade to start the RICO takedown of Atlanta, Adrian has now forgot about the crime. Lots can happen within 11 years. The crime did occur in 2013. Some sources claim that YSL members could have paid Adrian off to not snitch before the trial began, but others believe that he actually did forget about the crime, as Adrian would reveal why he forgot. I really don't have any knowledge about 2013, ma'am. That's what I'm trying to get you to understand. I don't really have any knowledge about 2013 once i have went to prison and came home from prison and done my time everything that happened in 2013 or whatever has been put behind me and set forth so i've been you know working and, and just doing my thing since i came home from prison i don't have no knowledge of nothing that happened 10 years ago as Young Thug is certain to be released very soon due to not having any evidence truly going against him, as well as one more specific reason, and allow me to explain. It begins with the judge screaming at the prosecutors for not even doing their jobs correctly, as online lawyers, as well as Drew Finling, have predicted the YSL Rico trial will end in mistrial because of the prosecutors. A report goes and reads, the judge in Young Thug's trial was just arguing with the state because they were unprepared with evidence. That's too late. The evidence is excluded. The evidence is excluded. I'm going to exclude. I'm going to exclude because I told you that this was going to happen. Uh -uh, uh -uh. No, 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 no. We're excluding that. This is the last. The, I'm not going to. I'm not going to. I am not going to tolerate this any further. If you don't get together with your colleagues and flag issues and 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 resolve them promptly, and if I have to take them up, remember. I can exclude them, we'll work the weekends, or we'll do a combination of both. So this time, I'm gonna exclude, I'm gonna exclude, I'm gonna exclude that, those two sections. There's nothing in I am not gonna, I am not gonna have any, I'm not gonna have any more discussion about this, madam, I'm not. I don't, well, you know what? And I attempted to try to talk to them earlier this week. Well, then that's, yeah, well, that's why we have to. The state because the defense I'm not punishing anybody. As the judge had just screamed at the prosecutors for being late with evidence. Then 15 minutes later, the prosecutors did another thing they weren't allowed to do. It would be reported Young Thug and his defense team's reaction to the DA asking a witness, are you afraid of Jeffrey Williams? You said you now know who Jeffrey Williams is. Are you afraid of Jeffrey Williams? Judge, <laughs> No, I know who he is. Hold on, 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 man. Hold on. Mm. All right. which obviously you are not allowed to ask a witness on the stand that type of question, making many believe that these prosecutors don't even know what they're doing. This is why a viral report would then share, expect Young Thug's legal team to push for mistrial. The rapper's lawyers have clearly won over the jury, while the prosecutors have provided little to zero evidence. As the only evidence they have shared about Young Thug within the last two years is that him and Lil Wayne have the same street team affiliation. And are you familiar with who this individual is? I am. And who is that? It's uh, Dwayne Carter. Okay. And does he have another name that he goes by? He does. And what is it? Lil Wayne. And are you aware of do any of your non-transparence if Mr. Um, Carter, Dwayne Carter, identif self-identifies as a member of... I believe that he does. Okay. Tell the jury if you need to stand with the stick and point to what those identifiers are within Defense Exhibit 31. There's a large MOB across his chest, um, often used, particularly by West Coast, but um, is used across the country. 
Um, he has five um, red five-point stars across his chest. With also the investigator trying to prove to the jury that rappers have street affiliation, they would end up finding a very random Facebook post of Young Thug and YNW Melly, where the two caption it, alleging having ties to each other's street team. Same thing, the use of the uh, slap term, five-point star, snake. Uh, he's saying he's YSL, saying he's Young Thug. And uh, he puts up his YNW uh, for life hashtag on it with the uh, five point star as well. Mr. Demons has the big D hand signs posted, uh, displayed. Right, and see with individuals again. I'm assuming that's also the young thug. That's also a kind of known. Yes. Also important to your investigation, correct? Yes also publicly available for anyone to see and 